but even small trees can provide cover for a predator. Wolves. These in northern Canada are the largest and most powerful in the world, and they are setting out to hunt. The pack is 25 strong, a sign that the prey they are seeking is formidable. These bison are even bigger than their southern cousins and the largest land animals in North America. For generations, wolves and bison here have been shaped by their battles with each other, making each the most impressive of its kind. The bison will not stay long among the trees. They're not safe here. The wolves are closing in, but their chance of ambushing the bison in the woods has passed. Their prey are now in the open and grouped together for safety. The wolves will need to work as a team if they're to make a kill. They circle the herd, trying to unsettle it and split it up. But the bison are armed and dangerous. They will be safe as long as they stick together. The wolves up their game, harrying the herd, a ploy to trigger a stampede and spit away one of the smaller ones. The bison form a defensive circle around their young, horns pointing outwards. The wolves need a bison to break rank. But the tables are turning, and now the wolves have to retreat. The pack focus their attention on the rear of the herd, and the bison begin to panic. and falls behind. Even this yearling dwarfs the wolves. Running head down, the herd's only thought is escape. A stroke of luck for the wolves. The kill will feed the pack for several days, but then they will have to resume the chase. At the frozen ends of our planet, the struggle for survival never eases. <laughs>